I've always wanted everything in one place. If you're a creator, a YouTuber, you know you're constantly moving things around. So this setup, this one man stand, it's everything on free wheels. This is something that's made my life a million times easier and faster. Mama told me when I was young, sit beside me, my only son. There's an echo, there's definitely an echo. It's closely to what I say. So, today we're talking about the one man band, AKA the one man stand. Peter McKinnon, DSLR video shooter, Chris Howe, They've all done it, and I've done it. My version is a little bit different. It may not cost as much. I'm using the same C-stand on wheels from newer as Chris Howe. It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. And this thing is awesome. I've been wanting to build this for a long time. It took me a few things to get it. Managed having me break my Sony a7 III, which you can check up here. But I finally made it. And the coolest thing about this is that you can take it anywhere without having to touch anything and you have the same sound, you have the same light, you have the same light, you have the same monitor, you have the same camera, you have the same mirror, you have two batteries and everything is fantastic. Let me show you. There we go. Get a little bit of plan and there and there. All right, and now I'm here. Look like a trucker in the cap there, but I should have similar audio. I am a little bit lower and I could actually lower it if I wanted to, but you know, I've got a k -k -k, so I'm just gonna like sit here and talk to you like this. But we can also, for example. Go over here. And now I can talk to you about what I'm doing on this table. So on this table, I've got my B-roll table, I've got a white background, I've got the Godox SZ150R, and everything has been cleaned up and completely changed, because I've moved my talking head, which was here. It was right here, so you can even see my neon sign back there. And I've basically changed everything, so I don't need such a big room, I don't need as much clutter. I am in that room now and it's a lot better for my mind, for clarity. Here I've done what I can to clean up. So I've got like B-roll table, the background, I've got all my lights here, I've got all my shelves right there. The kitchen is finally clean. I have a B-roll table right there with a falconized light and another young newer light, all my other shit there. Top down table here. I do mean to get another C-stand to kind of like do a top-down setup because this is just ridiculous. And that's basically what it looks like. Let's get back in here. So, that's basically me showing you <laughs> how the one-man stand works. And the fantastic thing is that you basically take it anyway. You don't have to change a tripod, move a light or anything. It's on a set of wheels. This whole system is on a set of wheels and runs off two batteries, two V-mount batteries. It doesn't have to run off two batteries. It could actually just run off one V-mount battery, but I've done it so that my camera, my small light, my monitor, and my microphone are all powered off one V-mount battery. And the Aperture 120D Mark II is powered off another V-mount battery. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and show you how it's done. Mine is different than Peter McKinnon's DSLR video shooter, Chris Howe. It's probably not as expensive as their versions, but it works just as well. And you can use any light you want, but I'm using the Aperture 120D Mark II, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Aperture, for sending that out to me. Let's get this done. Right, let's get this started. Right here, we have the newer C-Stand on wheels. It's got these kind of hard, reddish, rubbery wheels that you can wheel around. It's a roller C-Stand, that's what they're called, and they're really great. At the bottom, you can basically grab it and you can 
pull it down, you can pull it up, and you can control the height. I don't move the top one, just so it's always the same, but the bottom one I can move up and down, so if I'm standing, if I'm sitting, if whatever you guys want to do. Make sure your whole weight, so your camera, your light, everything is on one of the actual wheels. Don't put it between the wheels because it could topple over. If you want, you can use a sandbag just to make things a lot safer. Now, let's start from the top. On the top, we have the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Light Dome SE. Thank you, Aperture, because I did get this from Aperture. They sent it out for me. No strings attached. They just wanted to support a creator as I am. So really big, huge thanks to them. Same to Diety Microphones who sent out the microphone for this setup. The light is fantastic. It's what I've been using for the last three odd months for all my talking heads. It looks beautiful. It pumps up a lot of power and the quality of light is absolutely stunning. The Light Dome SE is half the price of the Light Dome 2 or even cheaper. And the reason for me having it on there is because I don't need a quick, you know, folding light box, which basically means you can just fold it up, put it in a bag and take it with you on set. This one is on here all the time. So it's got rods that you put in. It's a little bit more time consuming, but once you get it up, you don't need to do anything with it. Just like this one, it's always up. I don't have to take it down. The control box is run off one V-man battery and is 190 watt hour V-man battery. It looks like this right there. And what you need to look out for when you buy V-man batteries is that they have a USB-C out, sorry, a USB out and a D-tap out right there. They're called V-man batteries because they have this kind of like V-plate here which kind of clicks onto. Now, this one, 190 watt hour battery will last quite a long time. It will power this light a long time. If that isn't enough and I've got it in place all the time, I basically have the power cable here which I can connect to the mains. So I don't have to use the battery all the time. But if I'm moving around and I'm somewhere and I just want to turn it on quickly, I just have the VMAP battery connected. I use it at 70% with ISO 200 and F2.8. Going down, we have another VMAP battery right here. This is a 95 watt hour VMAP battery. It's a lot smaller, it's from Newell. They also sent it out to me. Great thing is these batteries have indicators so you can see exactly how much battery is left. And like I said, the USB and the DTAP. It is connected to an Andua plate, which is no doubt one of the most important bits of this whole setup because this one battery runs the actual light. This battery runs the camera, the monitor, it charges the light and it charges the DIT microphone. The great thing about this one as well is by Andua, it's got two USB outs. So one USB goes into charging the light down here. There we go. And the other one goes to charging the microphone when it runs out of battery. I do sometimes forget to turn it off, which is the one downside of this microphone. I used to use the Rode and the Rode would turn off when you turn the camera off. So it would be a lot easier to use, but the sound of this thing is absolutely stunning. On the other side of this is where all the magic happens. On the other side, we actually have a DTAP out. So not only do we have one on the actual V-mount battery, so we have two DTAP outs and we have a USB out. So we've got three USB outs and two DTAP outs because of the plate. And we also have an out five volts. So you can power your lights, for example. We have an out eight volt, which goes into the camera and makes sure that you don't fry your camera. Don't put anything else than eight volt. That is more than enough. The 12 volt goes into the monitor up front and the 15 volt, you can power 15 volt things for example, like a follow focus, some of them are 15 volts. So this is what the setup looks like from the front. Let me wheel it towards you guys so you can have a look. Right there, and it's really simple. I mean, I turn on this, I turn on this, I turn on the monitor, the monitor is an Andy Cine seven inch, and everything should show up in a second. There you go, and that's what it looks like. Very, very simple, very easy to use. It's really fantastic. Now another thing I want to show you guys is the actual arm here. I have two Manfrotto clamps. One holding a, another clamp which holds the actual Manfrotto 196B-2 arm, which is pretty cool because it's two section arm which you can flip around and it's pretty stable with a camera 
uh, mount on top, which I actually use with the microphone, but it works really, really well. It keeps the microphone in place and I can easily move it around if I need to. And the other mount goes down here to an extension arm with a spigot and a Manfrotto ball head. So I can change the orientation of my camera if I need to, tilt it up, tilt it down, left or right, just to make it perfect. And that is basically about it. I mean, it's a really, really simple setup. It works really well. It's, um, it's not incredibly expensive. I also have a mirror on it um, from camera and I've had that all the time. It just helps me monitor things because I don't have all the information on the actual screen on the monitor so I can see it reflect and it just gives me information like if the audio is working or not. And another thing that I can show you guys is the battery. Now the battery is basically a dummy battery and it is safe, it's from Andor as well. It looks like this, let me wheel it even closer. It looks like this and it's basically a small battery, FZ100 that you stick in here. And I have been using it for about, whew, I would say two years. No problems at all, camera's working fine. The only time it screwed up is when I basically plugged it straight into the V-mount battery. Never do that. That's why the plate does a lot because it's gone eight volt out so I can pack everything all together. Fantastic setup. It really works well. And I also have the plate just connected via a small rig uh, magic arm to the Manfrotto super clamp. Simple stuff. If you guys have any questions at all about this setup and how or where to buy stuff, I, I will try and link all the affiliate links below drop comments below, do subscribe. It's gonna be down, right down there under one of those chairs. And um, you know, give me a like if you did like this film. And this is what it looks like. I could stand here, I can talk, I can roll it back there, I can talk. It's fantastic setup. The one man stand, ladies and gentlemen. You have a fantastic day and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.